it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another speed build. Today we are building a houseboat. I don't think this one would qualify as a tiny house, but it's very closely sized. So this might be a tiny houseboat. I'm not entirely sure, but this is a one bedroom, one bathroom house coming in about 68,000 smolians. And it's that expensive because of how much water is around it. Cause that's a pool. Cause unfortunately at this time we don't do not have houseboats in the sims however this was inspired by something you know that maybe potentially possibly could come to the sims at some point because there has been a ton of speculation over the week uh this week and last week um that we might be getting some sort of tropical expansion pack added to the game in june which you know it might happen it might not it's all speculation at this point there has been a couple of I think three different websites that have reported on a tropical paradise expansion pack, which of course is not confirmed, but I think it would be really cool. And I know some people really want university. Some people really want a tropical pack. Some people really want farming. There's so many things that it could be. It's just interesting that we've had all these leaks. And even if we don't get that next, I think it's kind of fun to take that idea and make builds surrounding around it. So we're making a houseboat today, which uh, if you're not familiar with houseboats, they're, they're a thing in real life, but like when I think of houseboats, I always think of The Sims 3 Island Paradise, which I thought was so cool in that game. You, uh, in that expansion pack for The Sims 3, you got the new world of Isla Paradiso and you could, you could actually build over the water on like foundations, like stilted foundations, or you could actually own a houseboat and you could drive your house around and just dock it randomly or just stop in the middle of the ocean. And it was so cool. That was such a fun pack. You could also own and re like run resorts, stay at resorts, scuba dive. Like you could get killed by a shark. <laughs> there, there's a lot. There was also like the sea monster, like the kraken that could come and like eat your boat. Um, that was kind of scary, although I did enjoy summoning that sometimes. So, you know, fun times. Uh, anyway, I would love a tropical pack in the game. I think that's something we've been missing for a while, like something that's more beachy, whether that's a livable world or a destination world. I would love it if it was actually both. And I guess by default, it being a residential world, it, it is kind of both because you can just go visit whenever you want. So that's kind of what I would like. And I know a lot of other people who were sh showing interest in that theme really want it to be a residential world so they can live out that story of having their Sims live in a tropical paradise, essentially. So let me know what you guys do think of having that kind of pack in the game. I hope we find out what we're getting soon, but we're getting so close to EA play that I'm kind of losing hope that we're even going to find out before like that event happens uh but i guess only time will tell but the color scheme i went for this went for in this build <laughs> is very bright colorful yellow oranges and blues and greens i used a lot of the items we got with the caribbean update and i tried to make this look kind of like a mixture of like modern and more of a i guess tropical feel with a lot of the items we have in the game it's super bright and colorful and I really, really enjoyed this build. I actually, <laughs> I posted about this on Twitter. I have this weird habit of like finishing a build that's like really big or almost finishing it and not quite finishing it. And instead of doing that last little bit I need to get done to finish it and like get the video done, I decided I'm gonna build something else. <laughs> so actually on my way home from work today, I was just thinking about how much I wanted to build a houseboat. And so I got home and I was just like, no, I'm gonna finish this other video first. I finished building it imported the footage into my editing software, found out that it was five hours long and decided to build the houseboat right then and there. So <laughs> there's a big build coming out later this week sometime because it's done. I just have to edit the footage down so it doesn't take hours for the video to, you know, you, you don't want to watch five hours of me building something. Um, but it, it's a big build and uh, I'm excited to share that one with you. But I had so much fun with this. I love when I decide to do something for the moment like this because, yeah, I, I guess I could say it's a bad habit because I don't finish the other build. But this is always like when I do this, it's a passion project. And I'm like, I can't wait to build this thing. And I just sit down and I do it all in one sitting because I'm having so much fun. And that's probably my favorite thing is when I can do builds like that. But yeah, <laughs> we're just figuring out the kitchen here. I've been doing this a lot lately in my tiny houses where I kind of tuck the kitchen under the stairs using a half wall. I think that's a good way to get some more counter space in, uh, especially when there's so many big windows everywhere. I also really enjoyed using this table over here, which I don't think I ever use. What pack is that from? It's one of the stuff packs, I believe. Maybe it's, I feel like it's one of the perfect patio where backyard stuff once. I get those two packs confused so much. I also placed down this 
plant that I believe also came with the Caribbean update and then it's kind of dark for some reason so I scaled down a ton of little lights and put it inside which lit it up just a little bit so um if you download this house and you could move that plant there's probably like 10 little lights in there or not 10 there's probably like six um but <laughs> just just be warned and if you guys would like to download this house it is available in the sims 4 gallery if you search Griffey or the hashtag Miss Griffey there should also be a download link down below to bring you to the online gallery if that's easier for you guys um but yeah actually before i forget to mention this it i posted this on my community tab a couple of days ago but and it's all over twitter it's everywhere right now and all over the forums but if you haven't heard yet and you don't have the sims 4 at all yet on pc or I guess on PC because that's this, that's where this offer is available. The Sims 4 is actually free right now on Origin through May 28th, which is really, really cool. So basically, if you go and redeem it through Origin between now and the 28th, it's yours to keep free forever. Um, but it's only available until the 28th. I know some people were concerned, does it expire? Is it only free until the 28th? It's only free to download till the 28th but once you like download it onto your account it's yours so if you don't have the sims 4 on pc or at all and you want to grab that i would highly suggest getting that and i know some people were upset that they've purchased the game and i totally get that if it was recently i but if it was a long time ago i mean it is what it is it's a promotion the sims is trying to promote their game and i think it's really really cool and i'm really excited to see all of the new uh simmers coming to the community now that they've acquired the game because i know for some people it's it's something that's expensive that they don't have the money for and they don't have the means to go ahead and grab it but they would love to play the game so if you are one of those people and you haven't grabbed it yet go on to origin and grab the sims 4 for free and i'm also uh hosting a get famous giveaway that uh, ends tomorrow. So if you go and grab that base game and you also want to have a chance at winning The Sims 4 Get Famous, which was the most recent expansion pack for the game, if you head over to my 50k like giveaway and face reveal video, because I showed you guys my face a couple days ago, that was really nerve wracking. Uh, if you go ahead and comment there and leave your Instagram or Twitter handle, you'll be entered into a giveaway. I'm selecting two winners to get a copy of The Sims 4 Get Famous for PC or Mac. So anyway, all of that aside, this build is coming together now. I really, really love how this came out. I used some items I don't typically use. I never use that shower, which is really nice. And then I sized up those, um, I think they're skateboards, but they kind of scaled up look like they could be surfboards on the wall in the both the living room and the bedroom upstairs that came with parenthood I just thought they were so pretty and so perfect for this build and I really enjoyed all of the color that I did get to use I don't know why I keep like I keep like clapping my hands together so if you hear that I apologize um but I, I don't know. There was just something about this build that was so fun and refreshing. I think I'm just getting really excited at the concept of either getting a tropical pack or something else. I'm just so excited for new content. And I feel like I mention that all the time, but I kind of just let that go wild in this build. I was just like, I'm going to take all this speculation and I'm going to pretend it's true and I'm going to make a beautiful houseboat. And I, I'm just so excited. If you guys um, are excited about the idea of a tropical expansion or or not but like let me know what you guys would like to see in a pack like this um is houseboats something you really want to see swimmable oceans i mean that's number one for me uh resorts like sun tanning sunburn like those are things i really really want in the game i mean houseboats are cool but like i feel like if we got new stuff too i'd be okay with that but i, I would love a houseboat i think i think it's just such a cool concept i feel like that's a story that is really fun to tell in The Sims because I can't imagine myself ever living on a houseboat because a little bit afraid of that. That's kind of scary. Not going to lie. <laughs> but um, I think it's just kind of a fun story to tell in The Sims. And I think that's one of the best things about The Sims is you get to live all these different things that either you are never going to get to live out or things you don't want to, but you kind of want to experience it, but not in yourself. Or <laughs> I know that just sounds weird. Like when you have your Sims, like have like eight different lovers or you know <laughs> there's lots of horrible things you can do if you're just trapping people in pools and stealing their money like you're probably not going to do that in real life but it's kind of fun to experiment with that kind of stuff in the sims if if you know what i mean <laughs> so i think uh i mean living on a houseboat is nowhere near that extreme i mean unless we get like the kraken from the sims 3 and we can uh just kind of set him on people because i think that was a reward thing you got in the sims 3 i'll have to look back i'm pretty sure i did that in my island paradise let's play 
yeah, that was a really fun pack. <laughs> it was so laggy though, because that world is huge and The Sims 3 had open worlds, so it was a lot. I feel like I've just rambled over this whole voiceover, excited about the idea of a new expansion pack and talking about The Sims 3 a lot. Love that game, great game. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy this build. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. We're just adding like a little steering wheel up here because I was like, oh, they kind of need to steer, steer this some way and moving some plants out of the way. It's not, it's not practical, but I think it looks cute. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye everybody.